What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D photo, um, GIF, boomerang, whatever you want to call it. It's just a reiteration or a recreation of what the Nashika N8000 is going to give you. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's a camera with four different lenses so when you take a picture it takes the same picture from four different angles and when putting that all together you can make a cool little GIF or animation and basically what I'm gonna do is show you how to create that on a DSLR or even just your iPhone and Photoshop. So the first thing you're gonna want to know is how to actually take the photo. On a DSLR like this all you gotta do is put your camera in sport mode or high action mode and you're gonna find your focus and then you just hold down your button so it c your camera continuously takes pictures and you move your camera horizontally and as straight as possible so you just just like that to take the photos on your phone it's actually even easier all you gotta do is open up your camera app in your phone and then I'm actually gonna take some photos for this video right now and this isn't a good subject because it's rotating and you really want something that's going to be still but we're just going to roll with it um, but same process you're just going to want to move horizontally and take photos as you're moving I want to make sure this is perfect so I'm doing a couple passes but here we go we'll go one two three four and we'll do it one more time one, two, three, four. And one more time for safety. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to airdrop these photos onto my laptop and open up Photoshop and we'll see you there. I went ahead and edited my photos in Lightroom and now they're ready to create the GIF. So I'm going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to hit create new and I'm going to change this to pixels and I'm actually going to make this portrait and not landscape so I'm going to do 1080 by 1920 and we'll do a transparent background the rest of this looks great and hit create and then it opens up our project so awesome so the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop in our photos one by one and you'll see why in just a second so the photo a second to pop up and I'm gonna size it to take up the whole frame just like that and then I'll click over here and it's set and I'll go back over to my finder and I'll drop in the second photo and I'll scale it up to it and I'll try to make it around the same size that I made the first one and I'm gonna make the opacity 50% okay now you can see that they are not lined up at all but I am gonna do my best to line them up it's being a little jittery but you want to do as best you can to make them be perfect and you can hit command plus and minus to zoom in and zoom out makes it a little easier to tell so I th think my image is either a little too big or a little too small so I'll zoom out here and it doesn't have to be spot on but you want it as close to perfect as possible and that looks good so now I'm going to come over and I'm going to change this back over to 100 and then click away. And now I'm going to do the same thing for the third and the fourth photo. So we'll add that in real quick. Scale it up. Drop the opacity to 50%. Zoom in. perfect as possible, zoom out, and that looks 
looks good to me. Click away. Oh, perfect example of not being careful. I left the opacity at 47%, so just go over here, bump that back up to 100, and now it's good to go. And the last photo, I'll add it in, scale it up, drop the opacity down 50%. Line it up, zoom in, make it as perfect as we possibly can. Zoom back out, I think the scale's awful. Make it a little bit bigger or smaller. That looks good to me. Bump the opacity back up to 100. And now we're ready to start animating it. So, to actually start making it a GIF, what you want to do is you want to open up the timeline section of Photoshop. And I can't see it right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Window, and I'm going to go down to Timeline, and there it is. I'm going to hit Create Video Timeline, and then there's these little squares down here. I'm going to press those squares. Basically what those little squares did is it made this timeline a series of one frame images. So on here you can select the duration of those images. I typically go with 0.1 second. And so you want to go ahead and set that from the beginning so you don't have to go back and do it on each individual clip or each individual picture but what you want to do is after you have that set up is you want to uncheck all the eyeballs except for the first one on the first image and then you want to come over here and you want to hit this little add button this add is just going to add in another frame right here and you're just going to click the eyeball to the second one and then you're going to repeat that for the third one and repeat that for the fourth one as well and then to get that boomerang effect we're going to add in a fifth one and just uncheck the top image add in another one uncheck the bottom image and one last one to uncheck the second image and then to see what you have, you just press this play button and it'll show you the playback right there. And that's what it looks like. And honestly, that looks super ugly. And I'm not really proud of it. So I'm going to show you another example. But while we're looking at this, I want to explain how the motion of the moon, the rotation of it, you can you can see that in the gif right here and that's what makes it look really weird as well as there's just not much going on in the background it's just a line so it just kind of looks a little messy these are some photos i took from work earlier we had a trainee come in from boston massachusetts and i got some images of him and i thought it'd be cool to make one of these little gifs so again, we're just going to one by one put in the images. There's our first one. Here's our second one. Scale it up. Drop the opacity. Match it up. Zoom in, make it perfect. Take your time making it perfect. Because that's what makes it worth it in the end. Okay, so I got these four photos in here. And I got them the way I want them. And all lined up. So I'm going to create this video timeline. Hit these squares. 
um, change the duration of how long I want each frame. Uh, I found that I like 0.1 the best. You can mess around with it. Um, I've heard that 0.13 or 0.12 works very well. So we'll try a 0.12. And we're going to uncheck all the eyeballs until we have just our first image. And then we're going to add in another frame and add in our second image, third frame, third image fourth frame, fourth image, and then come back down the tree. Boom. 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 And there you have it. And now we press play. And bam, yeah, I like that one a lot better. You can see that one turned out a lot smoother. Uh, his head was still, so it's in focus. And I don't know, it just looks a lot cleaner. And so you can get creative with this. A lot of people like to add in like little lens flares or little specks of dust. But for now, we're just going to leave it like this. And to export it, if you're just exporting it for Instagram, um, you just want to go up to File, Export, and then you actually want to go down to Render Video. And so when you render the video, you just want to choose where you're going to export it. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And we'll name it GIF1. And hit render. And it doesn't typically take very long. And it should be done. And then, let's see. Yep, here it is right here, and bam, there it is. And you may be saying, wow, all that for just that one second. Well, when you put it on Instagram, it'll repeat itself. It'll loop, and it'll keep going, and it'll look like a boomerang, and it'll go back and forth. As well as, you can also export it. You can go up to here, export save for web and export it as an actual GIF and then it'll constantly loop itself when you upload it online you just can't upload to Instagram as a GIF so that's how you make a 3d photo animation GIF boomerang whatever you want to call it if you liked this video or got any enjoyment out of it Please go give this video a thumbs up. I got requested to make this video and I love making videos on information that you all want to know. So if you have any requests, please drop a comment and I will see you all in the next video.